Hi everyone. In this lesson, I will teach you the negative form of ability sentences. Okay? It is very simple. Uh, you know, in the previous uh, video, in the previous lesson about ability, I have already taught you the uh, positive form of the verbs. Okay? In the negative form, you will see some changes, but it's very simple. Uh, I I think you will be able to understand it. Let's get started. So. I have chosen the same verbs again so that you can understand uh, it better. Uh, I will show you the same examples and I will compare them, okay? Now, our suffix, if you remember from the previous lesson, are ebil or abil, okay? Depending on the vowel. So, the positive form was oku ya bilir im. Okuya bilirim. Abil suffix, time suffix, and personal suffix, ben. Okay? By the way, I have just included the first person singular. Okay? Just, just to show you the uh, negative form. And then I will show you the other forms. Now, uh, okuyabilirim. Ben okuyabilirim. This is positive form. Okay? We already uh, learned it. Now, let's say the negative form. Here in negative form of uh, ability sentences, ability, uh, we remove bill suffix, okay? We remove this bill suffix. We don't remove, we don't remove a sound, but just bill, okay? We remove bill. So, our negative suffix is are me or ma depending on the uh, last vowel in the verb okay in the last suffix and the vowel so we use me or ma as you can see oku ya mam ben okuyamam ben okuyamam let's analyze it oku is the root of the verb as you can see this is linking sound okay linking consonant between u and a between these two vowels and then we add our uh, our sound from a bill, okay? As I said, we removed bill, okay, bill, but we we leave our sound. So this are represent a bill actually. So this represent the ability, okay? This we can say this is still ability suffix. We just remove bill, okay, in the negative form. Oku ya mam ma is a negative form okay negative suffix and then m me and this is for first person singular okay in this in this form we just have m instead of im okay me okuyamam ben okuyamam okuyamam ben okuyamam so Let's see another verb. This time, yüzmek. Uh, you know it from the previous lesson. Yüzmek. Again, the positive form is yüzebilirim. Yüz, ebil, ir, im. Okay? Uh, we don't have any problem with this one. Okay? We have already learned this. Let's say the negative form now. Uh, because of the vowel harmony again, this time we use me. By the way, I don't. I didn't mention about the vowel harmony. Let's see the first here. Uh, I used a because of the uh, vowel a and u, as you can see, they are all related. But we will see the last vowel we see, just uh, the previous vowel we see in the verb. Okay, so it's awesome. Then we will use ma. Okay, I cannot say. We we shouldn't say. Okuya mem. This is wrong. Okuya mam. It should be okuya mam. Tama. Okay, let's go on with this one. Again, here I chose me this time because the previous sound, previous vowel is e. Okay, so we use me negative suffix. Okay, so use the root of the verb e use e. This time we don't have any. A linking sound as you can see because we don't have any vowel coming together so no need for linking sound so we just add directly the ability suffix ability sound let's say still it's a suffix 
Yüze me. Me is for negative. You know it's negative suffix. Yüze mem. M for first person again, as in this example. Yüze mem. Ben yüze mem. Ben yüze mem. Ben okuyamam. Okay, I hope everything is clear. Now let's see the same thing with the other person for, let's say, for example, uh, second person, third person and the plural forms. Okay, let's see them now. Now I have chosen a new verb. It is pişirmek. Pişirmek. It means to cook. Okay, pişirmek. So we have the root pişir. Okay, pişir. And then pişir e ability suffix pişire me bu uh, this one is for negative okay negative suffix and m pişire mem ben pişire mem you already know the first person now let's say the second person pişir the root of the verb pişir pişire this is ability uh, suffix and then this is me for negative Negative suffix and as this as sound for um, this as sound for present tense. Okay, for general, it's it's a time suffix. Pishiremas, o pishiremas. Sin, san. This is for the second uh, person. Second person singular. Okay. Pishiremas sin. Pişiremezsin. Uh, let's see the logic behind this as. Uh, if you don't know the present, simple present uh, form of the second person in a verb, then you may not uh, understand it. But let me show you. Uh, in simple present tense, when I want to say uh, you don't cook, okay? There's a difference between you, can, you can't cook or between you can't cook and you don't cook okay now i will tell you you don't cook okay sen pişirmezsin as you can see i use again z sound because we use it uh, in simple present tense for second person and also in the third person you will see okay and the uh, second person plural okay? So we already use it in simple present tense. It comes from that rule, okay? So let's go on with our subject. Again, pişiremezsin. When I add ability uh, suffix, it doesn't change anything. We are just talking about ability now. It's still in the simple present tense. Uh, that's why we have our simple present tense suffix. Pişiremezsin. Sen pişiremezsin. Sen pişirmezsin, you don't cook. Sen pişiremezsin. There is only one sound. Only one sound changes the meaning. Only so only one sound changes the meaning. Pişirmezsin, you don't cook. Pişiremezsin, you can't cook. Okay? Let's say the third third one, uh, which is third se uh, person singular. Pişiremez. Again, the same thing. Pişiremez. O pişiremez. Okay? Pişirmez. O pişirmez. Veya o pişiremez. He can't cook. Okay? Pişiremez. We have ability suffix, negative suffix and time suffix. Again, let's see now um, first person plural. Pişiremeyiz. Biz pişiremeyiz. Biz. We. Biz pişiremeyiz. Okay? Pişiremeyiz. As you can see here again, we have a sound Y. Linking sound, as I mentioned in the previous, uh, previous example. Pişiremeyiz. Again, you see two vowels. E and E. They cannot come together. That's why we use a linking sound, linking consonant here. Pişireme is. Instead of pişireme is, we say pişireme yiz. Okay? Pişireme yiz. We can't go. Pişireme yiz. Is for uh, biz. Also, this as sound, you know, it's because of the simple present tense. Pişireme yiz. 
pişiremeyiz. Biz piş biz pişiremeyiz. Tamam? Pişiremeyiz. Pişiremezsiniz. Siz plural you pişiremezsiniz. Pişir e ability sound pişire mez m and as pişiremez. pişiremezsiniz. Pişiremezsiniz. We have e, pişir the root of the verb e ability suffix m m for negative as e, for simple present tense and siniz siz pişiremezsiniz. And then pişiremez. Onlar pişiremez. Onlar pişiremez veya pişiremez. But here we, we are talking about onlar. So I clearly mention about it because we can confuse both of them. O pişiremez, onlar pişiremez. Pişir e mez. M for negative and as for, uh, for third person simple present tense. Okay? So I hope everything is clear. This one seems a little bit more complicated, I know, but uh, it's simple. It's all just um, you just need to practice it a little bit more. And uh, actually, I am I am explaining explaining in detail and analyzing it. Uh, but the best way to learn, as you can see, these kind of things to practice and use them. A lot, okay? Because in this way, uh, it will be every time thinking, uh, thinking about the structure and the, all the uh, suffixes again and again, especially in conversation, it will uh, slow down the conversation, of course. But uh, I am just teaching you uh, this, these things just to show you the reason, the logic behind it. Maybe you can understand the logic and uh, it makes you... Uh, understand and uh, to produce the verbs with suffixes especially easier and faster okay I hope it's clear in the next lesson I will talk about the question form of ability sentences okay thank you for listening to me and see you on my next lesson bye bye